Well, one of the best ways we've found to spend our winters on our farm, increasing and improving the habitat for the wildlife, is through timber stand improvement. So TSI, it's simple, it's just cutting trees down that aren't wanted, aren't needed in the timber stand, in the forest, so that the sun can hit the dirt, you get regenerational forest, you get understory growth, nice, thick, lush forest, okay? The wildlife love it, they feel totally comfortable in it, and that's why we're out here doing what we're doing today. So anytime I'm doing TSI, I'm thinking about three different things. I'm thinking about location and priority. I've got a couple hundred acres here of timber on our farm, and I need to prioritize that because I can't get it all done at one time or during one year. And so we're gonna talk about priority and location and where to spend your time and energy. We're gonna talk about species. So species is critical. I want species of timber, species of trees in my forest that are adding value for either me or for the wildlife. And if they're not, we're yanking them out, okay? And then I'm looking at the forest health. I need a healthy timber stand. I need healthy trees within the forest. And if they're not healthy, we're getting them out of there. So let's talk through those things. So from a location perspective, today we're working on about a four acre chunk of timber. And this four acre chunk is directly between the biggest bed and thicket on the property and a large food plot system on the other side. So it's a great transition area. Well, it's a great transition area if the wildlife feel comfortable when they're transitioning through it, which right now it's kind of thin. Even during hunting season, it was kind of thin. And so getting more sun on the dirt, getting more understory growth is gonna thicken this forest out, make it more comfortable, make the critters more comfortable when they're cruising through this between the thicket and the food plots, making our hunting over in this area pretty darn solid. That's the goal, okay? So then we're looking at species that actually add value. So I want all of the healthy oaks to have enough space to grow and, and succeed out here, okay? Uh, we make maple syrup. So uh, while the maple trees aren't adding a ton of value for the white-tailed deer, the turkeys, I still want my maple trees healthy out here. So we're leaving those in. And then I'm going through and I'm looking at things like ironwood that are you know, 20 feet tall. I'm taking those out of here. They're not adding a ton of value for me not adding a ton of value for the white-tailed deer, turkeys, things like that. And so we're yanking them out and we're letting that understory come in where those are today. And then I'm looking at just general timber health. So as I look at a tree, if it's not straight up and down, it's leaning over a bunch or maybe the tops broke off or branches are dead, I'm just getting it out of here. There's no reason to have an old dead tree hanging around in the middle of the forest because it's not gonna add any value for any of the critters, okay? So I need healthy timber, I need healthy trees in the timber stand, and if it's not, that's a great opportunity for us to clean it out and bring in some new forest, some new understory growth, so that the critters are totally comfortable in this area, okay? So when we do this right, uh, we get a great healthy forest and that's gonna add a ton of value for us in hunting season. It's gonna make it just a better area that we're gonna to wanna to own. I'm a steward of the land. I wanna make sure that I leave this place better than I found it. It's gonna do the trick. And overall, uh, it's just a great way to spend your winter when it's too cold to do much else, okay? So timber stand improvement, that's what we think about. That's what we do here on our farm.